Hi, I'm Josh Bloom. Welcome to another video in the RSP Supply Education Series. If you find that these videos are helpful to you, it certainly helps us out if you could give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. In today's video, we will move on to the next step in building an industrial control panel. If you haven't already seen the other videos in this series, we encourage you to go back and watch from the beginning so that you might better understand the entire process. The step in which we will focus on today is taking time to review the entire panel build to make sure that nothing has been missed or no mistakes have been made. It is important to do this step before any testing begins on the panel. It is not uncommon to find simple mistakes that may have been made somewhere during the fabrication process. Also, it is a good idea to have some form of oversight during this step to ensure that more than one person is reviewing the work that has been done, which leads to a higher level of quality assurance with the panel. As always, the process in which we discuss today is just one method of many that can be performed to achieve the very same results. So let's get to it. Now that we have completed the wiring phase of our build process, the fabrication of our control panel is complete. Before moving on to the next step, which includes testing of the control panel, we like to take some time and review the panel in its entirety. Um, this allows us time uh, to fix any problems before the actual testing occurs. This is going to be really important, especially if we have the client present for our factory acceptance testing, which is very common in a lot of different uh, scenarios. So. Again, reviewing the, the panel in its entirety before the testing is started is a very, very good idea and something we do on every one of our panels. Something else we want to consider during this step is that we make sure that we have more than one individual uh, participating in this panel review. Um, we have found that um, it, it's easy for the fabricator to uh, miss uh, little things during the fabrication process and to have another set of eyes on that panel. Uh, you can more easily um, find those uh, possible mistakes and, and fix those again before we start any testing. Uh, the person that we involve in this review process should be someone who's very knowledgeable with the panel fabrication process, such as uh, an electrical engineer, an electrician, or possibly your fabrication lead. Someone like that who really understands electrical design. Um, the next thing we want to do during this review process is we want to make sure that we're, we, we actually review everything in the panel, everything that was involved in that fabrication process. So this includes things like all of the hardware installation. So we're going to go through all of our terminal blocks, power supplies, circuit breakers, and make sure everything is secured properly. We want to make sure that all the hardware is in the proper location and then that matches the drawings and the layout that we are going to be providing. So Again, uh, making sure it's secure, it's in the right location. We want to make sure that there's enough room for proper ventilation for all of our hardware. That includes making sure that the hardware is not too close to a wire ducting or other hardware that needs a specific amount of spacing for heat dissipation. So double check all of these things. This is all stuff that should have been planned for early on in the build process, but we want to review it just to make sure that we got it right. Uh, we also want to make sure that we have enough space in our wire ducting to accommodate the all of the possible field wires are gonna, that are going to be brought into this particular control panel. So these are all things we want to review in regards to the hardware. We also really want to take a close look at how the panel and all the wires have been labeled. This is really, really critical, especially if you're building a panel that intends to be UL listed. Labeling is very, very critical. So we want to look at all of the terminal blocks within the panel, make sure that they are wired properly then the terminal block sections are very commonly labeled. We want to make sure that those are labeled properly. All of the wires, quickly go through, double check your wire labels, make sure they make sense and that they match the drawings. Also, we want to label any uh, pertinent hardware that we feel needs to be identified for any future operators that might be working in that panel. And any other, any other devices or anything that we feel like should be labeled in uh, our control panel, we want to make sure that that is all done um, before we move on to next steps. Uh, again, we want to review the wiring. Now this should go very, very quickly because in our the last video we talked about how we do a final wiring review. So we're going to just quickly take a look, make sure that everything is, is once again correct. Um, having that second set of eyes on the panel is going to help us to make sure that we don't miss anything with the wiring as well. Um, 
And then lastly, you want to take just kind of one final overall look at the panel. Make sure that it looks presentable. That there's not wire hanging out of your wire ducting or it just looks sloppy. You want to ensure that the, the wire is pulled neatly through the wire ducting, that it's all organized. It looks like it's been done um, and people have taken their time in order to make the panel look presentable. Make sure that the wire ducting covers have all been cut and that they fit properly and nice and and tightly together so that the panel again looks presentable. It looks like we've done a nice job. We can take pride in the work that we've done. Um, if we do all of these steps and, and make sure that uh, we have uh, another individual involved, make sure that they sign off on the work that's been done, at that point we can finally start to move on to the next step, which includes a testing of our control panel. So as you can see, this is a very important step and should not be ignored during the panel fabrication process. It can save time and money later on and will make testing the panel much easier. As always, we appreciate your interest and participation in this series and hope you continue to join us throughout the remainder of the build process. In our next video, we will move on to te the testing phase of the build, which is the last major step in the whole process. So make sure to join us next time as we continue the build. For a full line of industrial control panel hardware and thousands of other products, please go to our website. For more information or other educational videos, go to rspsupply.com, the Internet's top source for industrial hardware. Also, don't forget, like and subscribe.